Hello everybody, here we are with News Roundup number 189 in the slower version. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there is an article in this um, recording that you really should have the magazine in front of you because there's a very funny joke that you won't understand unless you can see what I'm reading. So follow the link and have a go at reading it along with me. An eight-year-old Siamese cat called Cupcake is back with its owner after spending eight days trapped in a special delivery box of DVDs. The Daily Star reports that Cupcake travelled 260 miles in a parcel from her home in Cornwall to Worthing in West Sussex after somehow getting into a box that her owner, Julie Baggett, had mailed. Julie commented, I feel terrible about what's happened. I put everything in the box and I sealed it straight away. So I don't know how she managed to get in there. It was a miracle because she was alive. She's managed to survive that awful ordeal. According to the Daily Mail, a new study has revealed that John and Mary are the most popular names of the last 500 years, even though they have now fallen out of the top 100 baby names. And Smith, Jones and Williams have been the most common surnames for nearly 180 years. Research by Family History website Ancestry involved studying more than 34 million UK and Irish christening and birth records from 1530 to 2005. A survey by radio station Radio X has resulted in Wonderwall by Oasis being voted the ultimate British song, says the Daily Mail. Listeners of the rock and guitar based music station cast more than 50,000 votes and Oasis dominated the top 10 and held all songs in the top four. Don't Look Back in Anger was at number two, followed by Champagne Supernova and Live Forever at number four. How's this for political correctness gone mad? The Daily Mirror says that the Big Sheep Amusement Park in Biddeford, Devon, has banned visitors from screaming when riding a new ride, the big one, so that they do not upset neighbours. The 400 metre long roller coaster 
has just opened following a five-year planning permission battle with local residents who claimed it would be intrusive. A sign by the ride reads, This is a family ride, not a white-knuckle thrill ride. Enjoy the views, but we love our neighbours. Please do not shout or scream. Thank you. You might find that a trip to the East Yorkshire city of Hull on July the 9th could turn out to be a bit of an eye-opener. The BBC says the city has been chosen as the latest place to stage a mass nude gathering to be photographed by internationally renowned snapper Spencer Tunnick. Participants will be covered in cosmetic body makeup before assembling to form the multiple colours of the sea and create abstract shapes for the camera. Kirsten Simister of Hull's Ferrens Art Gallery said it's an opportunity to involve people directly in an amazing live performance that will temporarily transform the city. There could be a crisis of horrendous proportion to hit the UK this summer, warns the Daily Express. The price of ice cream could rocket. This is due, says the paper, to a major shortage of vanilla. Apparently, there has been a poor vanilla harvest in Madagascar, which means that prices are set to soar. Data company Mintech is quoted as saying in mid-2015 prices started to rise sharply due to poor crops in Madagascar, the main vanilla producer. In addition to the poor harvest, quality is expected to be low due to inclement weather in August and September. What will we do without ice cream? I'm sure we'll survive. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.